Good morning. Are people self-contained? Today we're looking at Jeremiah chapter 10, the last three verses in the chapter, verses 23 through 25. O oh Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man who walks to direct his own steps. O oh Lord, correct me, but with justice, not in your anger, lest you bring me to nothing. Pour out your fury on the Gentiles who do not know you, and on the families who do not call on your name. For they have eaten up Jacob, devoured him, and consumed him, and made his dwelling place desolate. So we need correction. We need guidance. God gave us feet and legs to walk with. He, he designed us for communion with him. But Adam and Eve went away from him, and we call that the fall, or some call it the lapse. The harmonious arrangement of our faculties was disrupted, where God made Adam and Eve with uh, well-balanced minds, you know, we can be certain of that, with their rationality, their emotionality, their, their will, all the different pieces uh, that make up a person, the thoughts and the feelings, how that all works together, that, that was sharply messed up. So that now we need God's help to experience self-control. We need his guidance. We need his help to experience authentic humanity. We want to pull ourselves up by our own bootstraps, but our own bootstraps are too short for that. We need a help outside of and beyond ourselves, and God is ready to provide that help. It pleases him to provide that help. But Judah, the case of the kingdom of Judah here, they are another example of what happens when humans apostatize. When they go away from God, they begin just doing their own things, thinking their own way, seeking to fulfill their own desires. They apostatize. That's what we do. We're actually quite adept at apostatizing. But God has a different plan for us, and so he wants to bring us back, and it's in his mercy, certainly not because of our goodness, it's because of his, his enduring patience and his great love for us that he wants to bring us back. So many times we see here in the book of Jeremiah what happens when humans separate themselves from God, but God's not done with them. We need this correction, and, and God is telling Jeremiah, Jeremiah is calling out for this needed correction, but he's not getting a lot of takers. God knows what he's doing, though. We can be sure of that. There's the challenge. We seek out our own desires. We seek to do things our own way. So we need to surrender our desires so that we can receive God's desires. We were designed to receive and live out God's desires. We do our own guidance, but we need to learn to surrender and let God be our guide. But we seem to be always uh, pushing uh, along doing our own thing. We can certainly be sure that Jeremiah has nailed it here. I know that the way of man is not in himself. It's not. God made us, he, he made us to walk, but he's the one that guides our steps. So who's going to surrender to God? Who's going to let him be our guide? Are we just going to plunk along our own way until we wind up in the cactus patch? We can be sure that God has our best interest in mind. So we see the lessons here in Jeremiah. Let us not forget that the way of man is not in himself. You're not complete without God. I'm not complete without him. We are complete with him. And we'll experience all that's best in life only when we're with him. Just the way the design is. Hey, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for uh, telling us the truth about ourselves. You know, we don't like to hear it. We don't want to hear this. Uh, we want to hear that, you know, good job, just try harder next time. But that's not the way it works. Um, Lord, we want to be your follower. The way for us to proceed is to look to you, to look to heaven. We're designed to be in connection with you, always online with you. Bless us, Lord. Grow us, strengthen us. Uh, help us to be bold and yet surrendered. Help us to be uh, active and yet not independent. Help us to, to find the path, Lord, and help us to look to Jesus, and, and you'll show us the way. Thank you, Lord, for the example. Thank you for the messages of warning from your faithful servant, Jeremiah. May we uh, benefit from those now, although those happened long ago. Bless your people, Lord, and use us, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. No, you're not self-contained. I'll tell you what you need. You need Jesus. Have a wonderful day walking with him instead of in contradiction to him. God be with you.